Hi friends, it's Terry Gaines. In this video tutorial, I'm going to share a twisted ribbon technique card created with the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. This Designer Series paper is one of Stampin' Up's 2024 celebration offerings. During celebration, you get to receive free product of your choice with qualifying orders. There are many different items to select from. This product is free with a $50 purchase. You receive two each of the six double-sided prints. They're 12 by 12 in size. On one side, you have this beautiful floral and bird design. On the other side, you have some great background. For my technique card, I'm going to use the background side. For, I'm gonna be using these two prints, and then I'm gonna show you a sample using these two prints. I'm going to talk about that in a moment and I'm going to use this print and this print to embellish the cards. This paper is so versatile you're going to love it. It, co it coordinates with 12 different Stampin' Up! exclusive colors. For my card I'm going to share, I'm going to use the Boho Blue as a coordinating cardstock, but you can choose any of these beautiful colors. The beauty of the Stampin' Up! product is all of our designer series papers coordinate with the cardstock that is offered in the catalog or, or online. So for this project, you need a paper trimmer with a scoring blade, or you need a paper trimmer and a simply scoring to score your paper. You need half inch strips of your designer series paper. So you might find these in your scrap bin or you might just trim them off the edge of your paper. I mentioned I'm going to be using these two prints. With the twisted ribbon technique, you need two different prints and it's gonna represent like twisted ribbon. And I did bring some ribbon over here to kind of show you what that means. This is representing a ribbon that has a design on one side that's different than the design on the other side. So twisted ribbon is going to be that your ribbon twist and goes up the side of your card. We're gonna create that technique using paper. And the beauty of that is you have a lot um, bigger selection with the writ or the paper instead of ribbon. I also have half inch strips cut of these two prints that I told you I was going to share a sample completed with that. Now my strips are 12 inches long, but you could have your strips six inches long or four inches long. You can use your different strips in different lengths. So I have my strips cut ahead of time. I have my card base prepped ahead of time. This is eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half or scored and folded at four and a quarter. My coordinating cardstock, as I mentioned, is Boho Blue. I have this at two and a quarter. Now I'm gonna be working with a two inch wide base to do my twisted ribbon. You can have your base as wide as you want um, and it's going to still work out great, but I'm gonna work with a two inch base. <clears throat> so I wanna show you how I prepare my two inch base. So the length of my card is five and a half. I have my boho blue at five and a half. I have my base at five and a half also. This piece is gonna be cut to two inches. But before I cut it to two inches, I'm going to do all the scoring on the entire length of my cardstock so I can prepare a base for four cards at one time. So how you can prepare the base is at, <clears throat> excuse me, at every one half increment. So this is five and a half, so I'm gonna mark this at five. I'm going to score this cardstock every one half inch. And the reason I'm doing that is that's going to be my alignment for where I put the paper on and get that even spacing and that even twist of the ribbon. When I first saw this technique, it, it took me several years before I actually made it because uh, most of uh, all the samples I've seen or the tutorials I've seen to make it, you mark the edge of your cardstock with a pencil. And I found that if you score it, you can get the same results, but it's much easier to do it this way. So I'm scoring every one half or one half inch. So I am down to one inch. So I have two more scores to make. That's the second to last one. And this is the last one. So I'm going to score that entire strip to start out with. Now I'm going to cut it in two inch increments. As I mentioned, that's going to allow me to score once, but create bases for four cards at the same time. 
So I left this at eight and a half in length. So that means I can cut two. I can cut four at two inches and have a half inch extra strip. Or I could leave this one at two and a half and still do the technique and then just have my layer behind it to be longer. So the beauty of this is it doesn't have to be two inches. That's what my samples are. It can be wider than that. But let's just pretend it needs to be two inches and we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to set the paper trimmer aside, just set it aside for now. Now I have four of these. Now it's going to be really hard for you to see that score line on the white. So ahead of time, I did the same thing and I put a pen line here so you can visually see where I'm working with for this technique. So the beauty of that is that pen line is going to be covered up when we're done with the technique. What you're going to need, I suggest a silicone craft mat. You need an adhesive. I'm going to use the stamp and seal. And then you need a paper um, snips or a, a scissors. So what we're going to do is start out with whatever ribbon we want on the back. So back to this, when I say the back, it's the side that is in the back. So I'm going to use the background side. I'm going to start with... Now that might be confusing because you could look at all of this as background. I'm going to work with the solid background design and I'm going to put my seal all the way across here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to move the camera down a little bit closer. <clears throat> what we're going to do is start at the top point on the left top corner and we're going to work with the top side of this paper and go across to the top line on the right side. So you're gonna angle down for this first one. So I'm gonna line the top of the paper up. And you can see how that's covering up that line that goes across. So now what you wanna do is trim as you go. I suggest a paper snips and I turn it upside down. Then I can open it up in this blade right here. I can rest it against my card and stock and that gives me a nice straight alignment to make that cut going to go ahead and trim this piece off too and I'm just going to start a collection right there of my pieces that I'm going to toss. So now we have that one. Now I got this cut on the right angle just to line it up right here. I'm going to go to the top of that next line. So let me, I didn't get it quite there, so let me get it right to the edge. If you're struggling with getting it to the edge, it's okay to go over and trim it. So I got it to the edge. Now I've got it to the edge here and my alignment is to the top of the next line. So um, we've got the, we've covered up one line there, but the, so that's a second indication or score line and we're gonna go across. So now what we're going to do is trim it and we're just gonna continue to put this paper down on that same scenario where you're going to the next visible score line, lining that up and go down to the kitty corner across and go to the top of the next line. Now, I like to trim as I go. You don't need to, but it works out best if you do, I think. And then you can kind of keep it nice and clean. I'm gonna start going over a little bit. I'm finding that it takes me a little bit more time to get that lined up. And I like to make sure my videos are done in a timely fashion. So I'm gonna just go over that because now what we can do is just come in here and just trim that off. Add that to the collection that's going to be tossed. Make sure I have adhesive all the way down here. And what you do is with this background one, you just keep going all the way across. Now one 12 inch strip is not quite enough to go all the way across. We need um, part, of a, um, part of a new one. So I'm going to trim that and then take my new one and let's get that. So my videos are unedited. You get to see things happening in real life. If we were at an in-person event, it would be just the same, right? So 
Now for the last one, we're gonna go on the top of the last score line to the bottom corner, bottom right corner. So what you're doing, as you can see here, is we have equal spacing all the way along here. And by lining that up, we're going to get that. So I'm gonna start out by going a straight cut here, and then I'm gonna cut the rest of that adhesive off. And then now this strip has no adhesive, so I can put that aside and use it for a future project. I'm going to come in here and then follow that card base, that cardstock, and then trim all of this off. So with the first step is to get all of our secondary strips on. Now we're going to take the color that's going, the paper that's going to go across the top. So what I like to do is put my adhesive along the strip. I only do like halfway to start out with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid starting this top one. I'm going to go to the second one. So what I'm going to do is take the second strip. I'm going to line up the paper so it goes right over it covers up this and goes kitty corner across so you can envision that that ribbon is twisting so this is where you get the twisted ribbon technique so now what you do is just trim as you go make your little collection of papers here i have my adhesive i can go one more time before i put more adhesive so now we go to the next one and what you're doing is covering up those score lines and line that up turn it over you can already see the technique is popping out here you can see how that's working so as i mentioned you're just going to keep going and if you are attempting to do this at the same time i am um, the beauty of the video is you can hit the pause button and um, get caught up to me and then hit the play button just love this designer series paper with the twisted technique or twisted ribbon technique. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this. A lot of times for my videos, I have, I would jump in and have a completed project. But for this technique, I just want to show you from beginning to end how this works. And now you can see that that pen line that I put is getting covered up, which means your score line would be covered up. So this is much easier to do this technique this way, and you can keep going. So now we need a second 12 inch strip to finish this project up. And let me show you how it finishes up here. So we're going on the bottom here. We're gonna go from here to there, and that will complete the bottom. And then we're gonna go back to the top. I saved the top for last because what I want to do now is look for the equal spacing. We don't have the corner to line up. The corner is going to be up here. So what I like to do, make sure I have my adhesive on here. What I now am going to do is watch for this equal spacing we have here to help get this angle right. So I'm going to line it up to the bottom of this ribbon I put on. And then this bottom is going to go up to that point. And that's going to get me that equal spacing. And then I'm going to turn it over, trim that piece off, and then use the card base or cardstock as a guide to get my scissors to work with that. I got a little extra here. I'll trim that off. Now we have the twisted ribbon technique. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect designer series paper for this technique. So now you have these scraps that you can use for, or strips that you can use for a future project. I'm gonna bring my, my paper trimmer back in. It's got this little wall here that's going to be perfect for alignment. Now, I like this to be the top. You can turn it and have this to be the top, but this is where we started. We started with this first piece going down this way and this going up. I like that to be the top of my card. What I'm gonna do is put my adhesive on here then I'm going to take my next layer push it up against that wall push this up against that wall look for equal spacing on both sides and get that adhered now if this didn't line up I could take it to the paper trimmer or I could trim it right here 
I am good with how that lines up. Put my paper, I'm sorry, my adhesive on the back of the cardstock. Push my card base up here. And then I'm going to put this about a little bit more, about a quarter inch from the edge. And that's going to help me get it flush here. And then if I cut everything right, it'll be flush on the bottom. Isn't that beautiful, the twisted ribbon technique? Now I'm gonna show you two different ways I embellish these cards. I already shared with you that I use these two prints to embellish it. For this one, I cut out one of these birds ahead of time. I'm not a fan of cutting out with a paper snips, but what I do is I use a little, leave a little bit of white space because I'm going to layer this onto a white cardstock. And if you layer it onto white cardstock, it does not show your imperfections of your trimming. So what I have here ahead of time, I have a stamped image with the boho blue. It's the go-to greetings. I use the hello. The dies are from the nested essential dies. These are in the annual catalog, and I use two of these. So I did that prep work ahead of time. So what I'm gonna do is put my adhesive behind here and layer this. Look for equal spacing on all four sides. And then I'm just going to put this on with adhesive. You could put dimensionals and I'm gonna just put it off to the side here. I wanna make sure I show as much of the twisted ribbon technique. And once I cut out this bird, I'd like to take a bone folder and I curve it all the ends down, kind of give it some depth and some shape. And then I do take the tail and the wings and bring those up a little bit. Then what I'll do is put a couple dimensionals in that cavity that I've created. Let's see, a couple dimensionals in there. Take my take your pick tool, take those out, and that gives it a little bit of depth. And then I can place the bird right here. So that's one of my cards. And I have already completed the card. Oops, let's see. I, um, well, I didn't, I didn't, use this. I'm going to show you something else. What I did here is I used the same color blue background, so I just switched the top out here. For this one, what I did is I took the um, Heartfelt Hexagon Punch and I punched out of the, the cardstock, and then I took and cut this in half. Just cut it right down the middle with my paper snips. Then I took the Designer Series paper here, and then I punched out that image and put that on. And let me show you here. I'm getting real confused because I'm showing you multiple cards and I'm out of step with what I did. This image is from right here. This image is from another paper. It's actually from this piece right here. Now that punch won't reach in there. So then what I do is I just take my paper snips and trim this because I could trim these birds and use them for another project. Then what you can do is just come in here, and what I did was I utilized this. I was able to punch that out. I can go over here and punch this out. I can continue and get all of these images from this paper. So this is the image from that paper. So now back to what I did. I already warned you, my videos are unedited and I'm a little out of order for today, not as organized as I usually try to be. So now what I'm going to do is take, put adhesive on the back of this and then I can put this on my silicone craft mat and then line up as much spacing. I want about an eighth of an inch of that cardstock to show. I'm trying to make sure I line it up even on the sides. I have adhesive there already. I'm going to lay this one down, look for the same amount of spacing here. Then that's how I add that image. Now, I'm showing you that I just switched the top ribbon, but over here I'm showing you a technique that's called the double twisted ribbon. Here you have two different ribbons twisting and intertwining here. This technique is done the very same way. You alternate your colors, but you have one inch score lines. I'm gonna link you to a video I did about a year ago showing you the double twisted ribbon. So I hope you enjoyed this project. This is a beautiful card with the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. And there's so many beautiful um, options you have for creating this twisted ribbon technique. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. If you found me via YouTube, look in the text portion of this video. You'll get a direct link to my blog post 
where I have a PDF that you can download that has the measurements for the card that I created. Take care and happy creating.